I bought the M1 Mac Mini and this is my review as a creator using this computer. The Mac Mini is a computer that doesn't get talked about enough. I feel like not many people know about this amazing computer and I'm not totally sure why. But if you've ever wanted to step into this Apple ecosystem, it's one of the cheapest computers to do just that. Coming in at $699, it's cheaper than some iPads. I'm not gonna dive into too much detail and get all technical with you, but I will brush the surface. We're gonna go over some specs, talk about the pros and the cons, then I'm gonna give you my final thoughts. The M1 Mac Mini is equipped with an 8-core CPU, 8-core GPU, and 16-core neural engine. It has the M1 processor, for those who don't know, is Apple's chip replacing the Intel chips they used to use. For RAM, you have two options, 8 gigabytes and 16 gigabytes. I went with the 16 gigabyte option of unified memory because there is no way of upgrading RAM after purchasing. This is because everything is built onto the M1 chip itself. Itself. No need to worry though, this unified memory is different than traditional RAM. This unified memory is the reason why apps open extremely fast on the M1 computers. Traditionally, computer components are separated, so when handling data, it would have to pass through each component, writing and reading data. With the M1 chip, that's not the case. There are many different storage options to choose from, from 256 gigabytes up to 2 terabytes with ultra fast read and write speeds. For ports, you have a gigabyte ethernet port configurable up to 10 gigabytes, perfect for having a network attached storage or anything like that. You have two Thunderbolt or USB 4 ports, one HDMI 2.0 port, two USB-A ports, and one headphone jack. Using the Thunderbolt port, you can connect an external display up to 6K and can connect a second display up to 4K with the HDMI 2.0 port. The Mac Mini has a built-in speaker, and to be honest, I think it sounds decently good. Obviously, if you're editing videos or anything like that, I would recommend using headphones, but for watching YouTube videos or listening to music, this speaker is more than enough. The M1 Mac Mini has Wi-Fi 6 for super fast connectivity and Bluetooth 5.0, which is perfect for connecting wireless keyboards, headphones, mice, etc. One problem that seemed to be a common issue people were talking about a lot before I bought this computer were Bluetooth connectivity issues. But I haven't ran into any issues myself and I use Bluetooth for my keyboard, mouse and headphones. The Mac Mini has this beautiful minimalistic design. Although the design hasn't changed since like 2010, it's small, sleek, and looks good on your desk. But why did I buy the Mac Mini? Well, for those of you who follow me on Instagram or who watched my 2021 desk setup video, you know that before this Mac Mini, I was actually using the Razer Blade 15 as my main laptop or main editing computer. I still love this laptop so much. It's super powerful, perfect for video editing and gaming. The screen is color accurate. There are just so many good things about this laptop, but I did feel like it was time to upgrade. The main reason why I went with this laptop to begin with was that I wanted something with enough power to edit videos but I also wanted something for gaming because I stopped gaming recently I felt like there was no reason to stay with Windows I've always loved the Apple ecosystem and how seamlessly everything works together I have both the iPad and iPhone so whether I'm transferring photos or videos through airdrop messaging adding an event to my calendar jotting down notes everything works so well together and honestly the more fluid or seamless your workflow is the more productive you are now there were a few things that I hated with Windows one of those things or problems were issues when disconnecting drives or SD cards. I've had this issue with every Windows PC I've ever owned and that's when I want to safely eject a drive, I get this message. Basically restrict me from safely ejecting a drive because it says that this process is still open in the background. Even if I go to my task manager and completely close all processes I think are associated with that drive, it still won't let me eject. I even lost a drive or had a drive go corrupt last year because of this issue. And if you're a creator like me who is constantly using drives and SD cards, this is a major issue. With the M1 Mac Mini, I haven't ran into any of these issues. As a matter of fact, I haven't ran into these issues with any Apple device I've used in the past. Another thing that I hated the most was the process of transferring photos or videos to my phone. Because I'm always creating content for Reels and TikTok, but also photos to post on Instagram, I hated uploading the content to Google Drive and then having to download them from Google Drive to my phone. So I love that I can easily airdrop all content from my Mac Mini to my phone or to my iPad. One of my favorite things about the M1 Mac Mini is its performance. With the M1 Mac Mini, I can say I don't have to deal with performance issues anymore. I don't know how Apple has done it with their new M1 chip, but this computer is extremely fast. 
I don't even know how to explain it. When I'm editing a video on the Mac mini and I decide to skip anywhere in the timeline, it will play the video instantly. There's no delay at all. 1080p, 4K, even 4K drone clips. It seriously handles everything. I should also mention that there are times when I'll have Final Cut Pro, Lightroom, Photoshop, and Chrome open all at the same time, and this Mac Mini has no problem switching between all those programs and being able to use them. Again, with no delay or performance issues. The only issue I've ran into with this computer so far has been an issue with my display flickering. Now, don't freak out. This had me freaking out as well, and I was about to return the computer because I thought maybe it was defective or something until I found out that this was just an issue with my HDMI cable. After buying a higher quality, high speed cable, I haven't seen this issue appear again. As for cons, I don't really have any with the M1 Mac Mini. And if I'm being picky, I can only really think of two small issues. First one being, I wish it had more ports, but this can be fixed by using a USB hub. They even make these hubs that are specifically made for the Mac Mini and they look so good and these will not only give you more ports but also bring the ports to the front for easy access. The second issue which is not even an issue just something to be aware of if you do plan on buying the Mac Mini during the setup process you can't use any Bluetooth keyboards or mice. You'll have to use wired devices until the setup is complete then you can access your Bluetooth settings. You'll only ever have to deal with this once unless you reset your computer. With that being said, the Mac Mini is not only improving my workflow, but overall increasing my productivity, and I'll tell you why. When you're working on a project, for example, editing a YouTube video like this, once you find yourself in that creative headspace or zone, whatever you wanna call it, something as little as your computer rendering the footage slow can ruin everything. Because that's when I pull out my phone, open TikTok, and then an hour goes by, and I'm still scrolling through TikTok, usually putting off my project until the next day. With the Razer, just having DaVinci Resolve open would slow the computer down significantly, and the fans would get pretty loud, like most computers. But with the M1 Mac Mini, this computer can have so many processes open at once, and the computer is still cool. Like seriously, you will never hear the fans turn on with this thing. So there were a few reasons why I decided to go with the Mac Mini over a MacBook or an iMac. The biggest thing I had to consider was my monitor, the BenQ PD2700U, which is one of the best monitors I have ever used. I just bought this monitor a couple of months ago. It's super color accurate. If you wanna watch a review on this monitor, I actually made one and you can watch it right here, but I really didn't wanna get rid of this monitor. I also didn't feel like I needed a MacBook because when I'm editing or working on projects, I'm almost always at home anyway. When I do go to a photo shoot or I'm traveling, I bring my iPad with me and it can do almost everything my computer can do. I even use the iPad to tether my camera when I'm at the studio shooting. If you wanna watch a video on that, you can click up here. But in reality, if I'm going on vacation somewhere, this Mac mini is so small. So if I really wanted, I can easily bring the Mac mini with me and use the hotel TV as a monitor if I have a project to work on. So for me, the Mac mini just made the most sense. This has been one of the fastest computers I've ever had and has handled every process I've thrown at it so far. I most likely won't be upgrading this computer anytime soon, even if Apple does release the Mac mini with those new chips. Overall, the M1 Mac mini is a super powerful computer for a really good price. If you don't care for a good monitor, you could pick up the Mac mini for $699, brand new from Apple, pair it up with a cheap monitor, keyboard, and mouse, and you easily have a super powerful computer setup for under $1,000. If you're coming from PC, then this might be the right option for you. If you're a content creator, video editor, photographer, this computer was literally made for us. Its ability to perform so well with programs like Lightroom, Photoshop, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, especially when all these processes have extreme CPU and GPU intensive tasks like rendering is amazing. With that being said, if you're thinking about picking up the M1 Mac Mini for yourself, but you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure to hit that bell to be notified when I post a new video. And yes, even just a like helps this video and helps me get recognized by the YouTube algorithm. Peace.